Hello and welcome to Qt Tutorial Unit 11 from tutorialcoding.com. Checkbox demo. This demonstration will combine the radio button from the last, uh, last unit and the checkbox that is introduced in this unit. Checkboxes like the radio buttons and the push buttons derive from the Q abstract button and work similar. The, the differences are minor. The differences are that check buttons can be checked and are independent of other check buttons in the same um, container widget, while radio buttons are dependent on the other ones, so they are exclusive selection. And push buttons are, they aren't checked. Radi um, check boxes and radio buttons are checked and push buttons are just simply clicked and they release immediately. So I create an application in this um, unit that has two checkboxes, one to make the text bold, one to make the text italic, and three radio buttons that align the text left, center, and right. On the right side of the main window will be a label, and this label contains the text and the bold, italic, and alignment section selections are applied to the label. So let's get going. I start by creating two layouts. First is the layout for the controls on the left side, which is a vertical layout and has five controls. It has no parent because it is applied to the main layout. which is applied to the main window. So it doesn't contain anything, but it works, compiles, good thing. Now I start to add things to it. First I create the button. I created it in a class declaration because I need to access it from the various slots that will be later called and that needs a handle on it. I also set a frame around the label to show where the label starts and ends. And I also set a minimum width so that aligning the layout left, center and right is sensible. Otherwise, the layout would just align the label to the minimum size that it needs and then aligning left, center and right would be the same. So now I create the two checkboxes. I also add To the, um, my label to the main uh, layout before I start with the controls uh, because it's just on the right side. So the control, continue with the controls.
And now that I created the buttons, I add them to the control layout. So here we have the application. I also select the first radio button on startup. And currently it's not doing anything, but you can see that the checkboxes are checkable individually and don't care about the state of the other one while the radio buttons are exclusive selection. Now I will create a few slots and connect these controls to do something meaningful. And now I start to populate these spots. So for to make a font bold in a label, I need to acquire the current font, change it and reapply it to the label. So if checked, So here I take the current font setting from the label, apply the bold setting to it and then reapply it. The interesting thing about this is that I take all the other attributes too. So if the font is italic already, then it will also stay italic. I don't just throw away the previous state. And when I uncheck the button, I also want to un uh, and make this bold setting. So I say as if the button is unchecked, 
basically copy this same section, but instead of true, I set it to false. And now it works as expected. We can do the same with the italic setting. And you can see it takes into account if the other button is checked and properly unchecks them. Now let's move on to the radio buttons. Because radio buttons are exclusive selection, when one is checked, the other one is uh, unchecked. So we don't care about the as branch, only about the checked, uh, the, the true branch. And in this case, we just say my label set alignment cute align left cute align center and Cute align. Right. So now I can make it bold and I can align it. Now you will see a few interesting ch um, behavior change behavioral changes. When I apply it to center, it will center it over the entire widget, while when I do it, uh, align it left, it puts it at the top point there. I can make an OR flag here, OR cute align. vertical center. So if I add this second flag and if I combine and combine these two flags for the two other radio buttons, then it stays in the center and well, the center one likes it in the center place. And I can apply the two checkbox settings in any position, it will keep the font settings and it will just change the alignment. So as you can see, in the connect part, I use the Q abstract button clicked signal because this is a parent class of all the buttons, the checkboxes and the uh, radio buttons and it all works very similar just with these different exclusivity and check states. Thanks for tuning in for this video and goodbye.